You are listening to Win on KZKO. Check them out every Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Only on KZKO The Vibe. Covering all conversation from dating to getting revenge on your exes. This is Talking Points with Shabazz Davis on World Improv Network. Good evening and welcome to Talking Points. My name is Jerome Carmichael, filling in for Shabazz Davis today who is busy getting his toenails clipped. Hurry back, Shabazz, and look great in those flip-flops again. Now, over the past few days, TMZ has been reporting fairly constantly of Kitty Cat, Celebrity Kitty Cat Fight Club, in which celebrities, typically young, attractive female celebrities, take to the streets and confront each other as felines in locked in mortal combat. We all have been mourning the loss of Lindsay Lohan and Kim Kardashian, who lost their celebrity kitty cat fight club to our first guest, Miss Megan Fox. Welcome, Megan. Hi. Now, Miss Fox, you have been uh, extremely successful thus far in the Kitty Cat Fight Club. Uh, to what do you attribute your success? I attribute it to my preparation for the film Transformers when I did that, and also the rage I feel for having not being not being allowed to be part of that franchise anymore. Mm. And I am using this kitty cat fight club to channel my aggression and my anger. And I hope that by proving myself in the ring, that they will bring me back for number five. So you're purely in this as a... uh, Career advancement. Yes. Uh, Now, had you ever considered murder... As a mode to career advancement before before now, before so the Celebrity Kitty Cat Fight Club entered your world? I'm not going to say no, but I will say yes. Okay. Now, there are some in the United States who don't believe it is right for you and your fellow Kitty Cat Club Fight Club participants to impersonate cats. How do you feel about about your cat impersonation? You uh, don't think it's speciesist? I don't I wouldn't even consider it an impersonation. Hmm. I think we are embodying and I think we are channeling and I think we are transcending our human forms and leaping into that of a kitty cat. So you you are really becoming a cat. Absolutely. There is no human Megan Fox there. There is mm. Megan Fox, the kitty cat. Wow. Kicking up dust in the litter box. Oh. <laughs> well, that was a uh, very realistic. Clearly, I, I could swear your your pupils elongated while you did that. It was quite impressive. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Uh, I can do it all day. Okay. Well, well, let's hold that for a second. Um, joining us also, uh, r- representing the ASPCA, is Mr. Clyde Mouth. Uh, Mr. Mouth, you have been a, a leading opponent to uh, the Celebrity Kitty Cat Fight Club, uh, staging protests. You are often seen in the background of the of the videos, the illicit videos that are being taken, uh, where you are holding up signs, decrying what they do, and uh, really uh, attempting to represent the the feline cause. Yeah, well, back in my day, this is you would never do something this ludicrous, and nor would you take it to the point of murder, like Miss Fox is doing, and to besmirch the beautiful animal and reputation of the feline species though she is considered a fox the name does not indicate feline and though she's considered to be attractive 
she is not a feline, despite the scary similarities of her ability to transform into feline noises when she gets into her, well, almost trance-like state before her battles. Yes, you uh, uh, have a, a, a picture of a, of a majestic cat I do. On, on your shirt. Uh, yes. The glitter and sparkles, it's airbrushed on, yes. and uh, you clearly value the the majesty of the cat of the feline species the, and what their their inherent honor i have seen the cat in the same way that the old assyrians did and, and the egyptians and other great civilizations in the past held them to a high esteem not to be mocked not to be trifled with hmm. but to be revered and to look at them as a graceful animal and not to simulate their movements because they have some that no one, no one has. Uh, do you believe, uh, Mr. Mouth, that there is any any version of Kitty Cat Flight, Fight Club that would be acceptable? Or as long as there is impersonations of cats, they're they, not you are impersonations. Uh, um, I would say I that... I don't like to agree with anything Miss Fox has to say, and I don't like to see her out on the news promoting this horrible art form, but I guess as long as the children or the girls are under the age of four, it's okay, because you usually don't remember anything under the age of four, so you can let it out to your consciousness by the time you get older and get it out your system, so to speak. I find that detestable. I find that absolutely detestable. This is not just, this is, you can't expect a child to perform, uh, at the level that, that the rest of these grown women do because we are, we are professionals. We are professionals. We are putting our lives on the line and we're not just doing it for, for fun. All right. We're not just doing it to, Roll around in the grass. So, okay. so, uh, uh, Miss Fox, if I can interject, it sounds like your major problem with what Mr. Mouth is espousing is that the fights would be of low quality. You yeah, understand, Miss yeah. Fox. Yeah, you were trying to take the credibility out of these fights. Oh, really? Well, uh, think how, about it. A four-year-old child, a four-year-old girl, so flexible, so limber, she could be thrown against a pole and not get hurt, probably fall out of a three-story window, and not break a leg, and on top of that. The four-year-old is A four-year-old can't channel a cat, all right? That part of their brain called the the Sphinx Segma, okay? Mm-hmm. It's I'm, a real thing. I'm well aware and of And I've drawn it here on my diagram of the brain. Mm-hmm. All right? There's the Sphinx Segma. Wow, you're actually a pretty good artist, Miss Fox. Yes, and then it's there's, quite impressive and detailed. And then there's the Felinus Crovix, mm-hmm. okay? Oh, we can see that that's, that's the... Uh, China-shaped organ just underneath the brain behind the pituitary gland. Uh, yeah, the pituitary gland, though, has been relabeled the pituitary gland. <laughs> yeah, well, Mr. That's Carmichael, not a joke. Oh. Think about this. She's, she's damn wrong on that one because, uh, well, we all look like sharks when we're embryos, but obviously we get the sh- shark out of our system no, before we're born. don't. What? We do uh, not look like sharks. Yes, we do. At week three, during uh, the, the gestation period, we look like great white sharks, and we get it out of our system before we kick and trot out at the 9 Are these mark. your embryonic photographs? They are. See? I look just like a great white. Matter of fact, oh my I gosh. have some pictures of yours. When you oh. were a child, you looked like a tiger shark. Well, mm. maybe you should consider a uh, sharky shark fight club. I would, but the problem is you can't get two sharks oh. inside of a oh. in, in the uterus together unless they're twins. Oh, excuse me. So, Mr. Mouth, you uh, you have no problems with, with another species fight club. Yeah, because they get it out of their system before they're born. And in this case, the kitty cat fight club that get out of their system before they remember anything, before they have a conscious at the age of four. So, uh, what what species fight club would you endorse for our our adult celebrity population? Also, I just want to say that four year olds 
do have consciousness because my niece recently had a problem with a clone, and you can only have a clone if you have a conscience. Mm. I mean consciousness. Well, then you only and end up with half a consciousness. Yeah, then is there a scab of a conscience? What are you talking about, Miss Fox? No, you just have two. Two? Yeah. But they're half as big as your original consciousness. There is no size to consciousness. Okay? Oh. <laughs> if there was, then I wouldn't. Th- then a cat consciousness wouldn't be able to occupy my body. Well, then the sum is greater than the part. So when you, I guess I don't know. Well, you- Mr. Carmichael, basically, I, I want to answer that question. Besides shark battles in the in the womb. Uh, the other one, and we're, we're even Kitty Cat Fight Club up to the age of four. The other one I would condone is full-on cockfighting. Okay. Miss Fox, would you and your fellow celebrities be open uh, to engaging in a, a rooster cockfight club? Absolutely not. We are not interested in shark fights or cockfights. We are interested in cat fights. Well, kitty cat fights. And again, I want to say this is a professional thing. All right. We take this seriously. All right. This isn't a laughing matter. This isn't jokes. This isn't games. It's a matter of life and death. Obviously. Well, uh, thank you, Mr. Clyde Mouth of the ASPCA and Ms. Megan Fox, no longer of the Transformers franchise. Thank you for but joining us today. Maybe later. Talking points? Talk to uh, me, Michael Bay. Uh, we'll see. And uh, thank you, and have a good night. Give the Windcast your suggestions via Facebook, Twitter, or the KZKO Wind Blog during the commercial break of what issues the Wind Counselors can help you with during Good, Bad, Ugly. Next on KZKO.